Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first ever Rhodes College Athletic Weekly Update. I'm Jeffrey Libsey. This was a busy weekend this weekend for the Rhodes College Athletics, and we'll start off with a women's volleyball team that was in the SAA Conference Tournament. The women lost the center three games to one, but a bright spot for the Lynx, senior setter Michelle Kina had 39 assists. That performance will put her in the top 10 all-time career leaders in assists here at Rhodes College. The Lynx this season had five more conference wins than they did last season, along with three more regular season wins. And now on to men's soccer. The men's soccer team played Barry College in the SAA Conference Tournament first round. Barry jumped out to an early 1-0 lead, but the Lynx fought back hard with several opportunities inside the penalty box, but they just couldn't capitalize. Although Barry won 2-0, Senior Eric Lai was named to the All-SAA Conference Tournament team. The Rhodes women's soccer team had a great SAA Conference Tournament. They opened up in the first round with a 3-0 win over Hendricks College with goals from Shannon Donaldson, Addie Ferguson, and Nicolette Glyden. Senior goalkeeper Allison Crowling helped pitch the shutout. The Lynx then went up on to play Barry College in the second round and lost a nail-biter 1-0 with 85 minutes of scoreless play. Barry scored in the last five minutes to take the victory and go into the championship game. The Lynx finished the season with an impressive 14-5-1 record and look to build on that next year. In other women's sports news, the Rhodes College field hockey team took home their fifth straight SAA conference title with a victory over Center College. The Lynx won 2-0 with goals from Julie Hertzman and Kate Taylor, and this fifth straight title is a record for the Lynx. The last fall sports still in action Rhodes College football team put up 55 points this week against Hendricks College, taking home a 55-36 victory. The Rhodes Lynx were led on the ground by senior running back Dane Wilson, who piled up 149 yards and two touchdowns. Through the air, sophomore quarterback Blake Box threw four touchdowns and no interceptions. On the defensive side of the ball, senior defensive tackle Michael Oluwashuga had seven tackles, three of which were sacks. This performance earned him the SAA Conference Player of the Week. The Lynx will fight for a conference championship next week against Millsaps Majors at 1 p.m. here at Crane Field. With the fall sports wrapping up, it's now time for winter sports. Both men's and women's swimming team were in action at Hendricks College this weekend, and both took home victories. The women defeated Hendricks 80-21, while the men took home a 69-18 win. Both teams capitalized on their great meets with wins in the 400 free relays. In other winter sports, the men's basketball team wrapped up their exhibition season this weekend with a game over at Christian Brothers University just down the road. Christian Brothers took home the win, but the Lynx held the high-scoring Christian Brothers offense only 28 points in the first half. The Lynx will have their first two regular season games this weekend against Washington University in St. Louis and Fontbonne University. In women's basketball, the women's team will also open up this weekend with two home games, first against Blackburn College on Saturday and Russ College then on Sunday. That's it for this week's weekly update. I'm Jeffrey Livesey. See you guys next week.